All right, guys. So this is Fire Escape. It's a um, it's a murder mystery. See, there's different times here. Uh, apparently, this is played in VR, but we're going to play it without VR because I don't want to deal with the headset. Plus, it probably make you sick after a while. Uh, but it does sound kind of interesting playing in VR, right? Um, so I guess do I just click episode one or do I have to click a time? I guess I click 8 p.m. There we go. Maybe that's how you start the game. You just click the time. It's interesting that it has a time, um, like a time mechanic. Ink stories. Neat. Indeed. There you go. Whoa! Look at that guy. Am I just out here on my porch, just eating some pizza? The super blood moon. Oh, it is a super blood moon. Oh my goodness, there's so many noises already. Yes, yes, I understand. I understand. Look, I'm not concerned. Oh, is that guy? Okay. Listen to me. You listen to me closely. I'm listening. I will have the building empty by the end of the month. Oh. I have my ways. He did yes, it. Hundred percent. He did it. He's going to empty out this entire no. building, or is it my building? No one's listening. I'm listening. I have to call you back. He's listening. What the? Hey, what? What's going on? what the hell is this graffiti shit, Sal? Hey, I'm sorry, boss, but every time I come out here, something new on the walls. Then you need to get those cameras back up. And look at this shit. You need to get this crap out of here. Oh my god, this guy. Last thing I need is the Billings Department snooping around asking questions again. Christopher, thank you so much for that, Risa. And about tonight. Bears. You've spoken to everyone, right? Well, just about everybody. <gasps> Sal, you know you're in this with me. Jared, come on. I've been loyal to your family for over 30 years. Have you? Yeah. All right. Take it easy, boss. Okay, so this guy is like the, the rich asshole son of the landlord. Like the, the previous landlord is obviously the more right, benevolent right, ones. Oh, hello. Hey, you. It's me. Oh, God. Your neighbor from across the alley. Hi. I just wanted to share the big news. What's up? My YouTube channel just cracked one million subscribers. Congrats. Yay. Okay. Pretty crazy, huh? Right. I guess a lot of people are in need of a soothing, whispering voice. I need a yes. Let me text you the latest video I posted. Thank you. So you can see it. I want to see it so bad. Just press play. Pressing play now. Hey. Hi. It's me. Hi, how's it going? ASMR. Sweetie. Do you live in this house? Which house Tonight do you live in? is a very, very special night. Oh God! About our connection to this amazing blood moon. Look at that blood moon. We have a once in a lifetime chance to change everything. <gasps> oh no! Oh, it got creepy. It's not supposed to do that. No, that was a ghost. The files keep getting corrupted. I don't know what's going on. It's a ghost. Give me a sec. I just got home. You just got ghosts. Let me pull up the blind so you can see me. Where are you? Oh, it's you're in that one. <gasps> Ooh. I'm blushing. I pull up the blinds. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, ASMR, sweetie. Hi. Come on. I'm ready for my close-up. You're really scaring me. Finally. Now we can actually chat. So this got weird. I don't have the what money to pay for this. Whisper, sweetie voice. I, I don't think I could afford you. 
Um, I love it. <laughs> You're too sweet. She's so creepy. I'm scared already. I hope you like watching me as much as I like watching you. Oh, I didn't know you like watching me. Oh my Makes goodness. Me feel, I don't know. Less lonely. Even though it allows me to catch a glimpse into all my secrets. I really wish you would talk in a normal if voice. You watch closely enough, that is. <laughs> Do you ever feel lonely? Sometimes, yes. Oh god. Uh. What? Maybe? Well, if you don't know, it could mean you are. Oh. Hold on. I just got a text from tonight's meeting. Do you talk normally to this person? Big shot landlord. I'm sure you've seen him around. He's the one that's always wearing a tie. Why is she whispering? Big announcement tonight. She's our ASMR sweetie. What's your take on him? Uh, he seems like an asshole. That's what he thinks. That's what I think of him. He's evil. Unstable. Not sure. Cool. Uh, he seems evil. I see you made up your mind quickly. I did. Ugh. Sounds uh -oh. like my creepy downstairs neighbor is making noise again. I want to see. Let me see. I've got to record a new video before I head to Jared's. I'll ping you when I head upstairs. Cool. Don't miss me too much. Are there subtitles? Oh, that's a good question. We should try to get some subtitles on here. Let us... Um... This game desperately needs subtitles. Uh, I don't think there is subtitles. If we exit to main menu, do we have to do this all over again? Oh, I'm scared of having to do this all over again. Ooh, is she prego? Yeah, she prego. Someone get her a chair. She sounds like she needs to sit down. <coughs> Help her. Buenas noches, don Sal. Hey. Wait, does he have a gun? <laughs> yeah. Still no water again. When is it fixed, don Sal? I know, I know. We're working on it. But uh, I don't want to keep you. Just a reminder of the meeting we're having at Jerry's apartment tonight. Now, it's very important that you and Mr. go attend. Muy importante. Ah, no. Robert is working late. Don't know what time. Later, you... Endless suffering, pain. And you'll know it was because of me. He's an actor. He has to be an actor. He's got, he's got spotlights in his corner. <sighs> Sorry about that, okay? Besides, you know how men get. They just... Just took it too far. See, see. Thank you. I'm busy right now. Not tonight. I can't. Gush for the Anglad Aziat, I'm not going. I'm not leaving New York. Because. What do you have to do? I wonder what language you have to do. I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to leave. I'm not going Ethiopian? Oh, they're gone. Oh, this is going to be interesting. You have to play this game over and over again, too, because I feel like there's so many things you can miss by checking out other people's stuff. I'm interested in what he's doing. Farsi? Maybe it's Farsi. Oh, she's calm now. Oh. She's got a very nice altar. Alright, so she's praying. Hi, I'm spying on you!
You have a nice apartment. Hi. I can see you. Smoking that cigar. That's a very large cigar. With your past and understand your shadow self. Balance these energy energies and enhance your magical oh my powers. god. I want to know her real name. But trust me, you won't be seeing any unicorns or leprechauns running around here. Don't cross the street without daddy. Wait, wait. Who, don't cross the street without daddy. Excuse me. I, I want to know more, more about that daddy. Um, uh, let's see. Who are you? I know the timing just couldn't be worse, but uh, Jerry's gonna need you up in his apartment tonight. <sighs> So, this won't come as a surprise to you, but Jared needs to switch his tune tonight, or it's gonna be... Let's just say, he's a ruthless, nasty boy. Yeah, he is. And I'm not... Also, you have a I'm fucking raven in your anything, apartment. There are recourses to this kind of stuff. He is, um, She loves whoa, Christmas. Is, Unless this is Christmas. I'm is it Christmas? Here, and I just can't get into it right now. All right then, Sal. I'll be there. She's got a freaking raven in her apartment. And she's got Christmas decorations everywhere. Is that your one room? Oh, that's a really sad studio. Oh, that's the building manager. Oh, that sucks. I feel bad that you're down there by yourself. All right, so... Oh, she's done recording. She's over there. Oh, are you getting a snack? Solo yo podré ayudarme a mí mismo. Oh, she's got a gel mold. Oh, I really wish I kept up with my Spanish. Solo yo podré ayudarme a mí mismo. Reconozco mi potencial ilimitado. Take action, gain control. Okay. Just doing like a self-help thing. Uh, what happened to the lady on the, the ledge? Uh... Y'all heard that, right? Oh. Hey, it's me again. I'm upstairs outside Jared's. Before I head in, tell me, does he have a hot date inside? I can't see. So, are you gonna look? I'm looking! Uh, won't say. That's okay. I respect privacy. He's got swords! I can't deny that I have this funny feeling in my tummy. Like something crazy might happen tonight. Maybe it's just the blood moon. <laughs> okay, I'm heading inside. Do you knock? <gasps> Hello? Oh, she finally talks normally. Goodness. Jared. Jared? Did you knock? Uh, hello? Sorry. The door was unlocked. Mr. Jared? <laughs> so you're stalking me now. <laughs> you know, why don't you go wait in the living room? The others should be here shortly. <gasps> Actually, I was hoping we could talk. Had this bad boy set up for the blood moon. That is, if the cloud cover doesn't sap. Hey, Mrs. Palacios, oh. let yourself in. Oh, watch out, watch out. Oh, let me get that. Boy. I come in because of the door was open. I'm in the air. I want Mr. Jerry to have the first piece. Hello? Oh, uh, come on in. Oh. This is getting interesting. You really turned up the 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 whole music on there. It's so loud. Honestly, <gasps> it's a mouse now. 
Oh no! No, no, my hands are my sweetie! Oh, oh. Sorry. Hi. I'm fine, okay? Jackie. Adina, thank you so much for that resub. Um, have you lived here long, Officer Cream? Yeah, I have. Hey, Val. Hey, How you doing? Okay. Uh, my parents I'll moved into the, the building in the 80s. Okay. Okay. Whoa, check out those swords. Yeah, Jared swords. needs them for protection. <laughs> Actually, they're very rare Chinese dragon swords. Only the finest commanders carried them. Sick. I bet they could mess someone up. Mm, indeed. <laughs> My grandfather, he used to collect swords, so I have an immense knowledge of ancient weaponry. What's so, Jared doing? He's over there. Just something like that cost. Oh, oh, darling, you couldn't afford it. Oh, oh really? <laughs> just because he likes his financial advisor or something? Okay, let's get this over with. Here we go. I know you all had a relationship with my father, but I'm in charge now. Yeah, asshole child. And this building is never going to benefit from this Brooklyn Renaissance with a continual blasting of loud ethnic music, disgusting wow. cooking smells of empanadas, unsanitary wild birds, and a wannabe YouTube star coasting on her aunt's rent control. Not to mention the bullshit 311 complaints. All of you in this room have been wasting my goddamn time and money. The time is If now he dies, I don't feel any remorse for this. Era of luxury living here in this city. Empanada sounds no so good too. Certainly not you people are going to stop it. You have to clear out your apartments by the end of the month what? or Sal will oh, throw your shit out. Uh oh, and, and if you think a public defender is going to help you out here, good luck. My attorney, Jackie Amato, will bury you. Yes. So, no, you know about getting this. Away with this. You told Jerry. me we didn't have to I think you got enough on your plate, Val. Like that dude from 3A. Oh my god. Hey, hey, hey. <gasps> Blood Moon! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's the Blood Moon! What's happening? What's happening? All right, they're coming down the stairs. Oh, there's the fire truck. Initializing, my phone's initializing, what's happening? All right, okay, so you're alive, you're alive. Okay, those two are alive. You're alive. Unresponsive victim. Patient appears to be a stab. Okay. All right. Copy. Secure the area. All right. Well, he's dead. <laughs> you caused this with your ASMR. <laughs> your devil. Whispers. I'm so scared. Something bad happened, didn't it? Uh, it's bad. Did you kill him then? Whoever killed Jared probably knows everything. I need your help. Don't trust her. But I can help you. 
What? 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 It's true. She did admit to knowing he's dead. That is a huge clue. That is just 8 p.m. That was that was 8 p.m. Oh my god. You got the sun in your smile. So why is it raining? Why is it raining? Alright. Oh my god. Okay. There has to be subtitles in this game. Alright, well, that was that was 8 p.m. We go to 805. Oh wait, okay. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go back to main menu. Okay, that's. Was that just like the first 15 minutes, episode one? Let's just make sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so that would be- that was just the first episode. Okay. So we can go to episode two. Man, I like how you can kind of go back so you can see everything. Previously on Fires. <gasps> hey you. Hey. It's me. It's me. Jared, my big shot landlord. He's making his big announcement tonight. And about tonight, Sal. You know, you're in this with me. I've got to do something to keep me from seething about this investment with Jared. But Jared needs to switch his tune tonight, or I'm not trying to be threatening, but you have been wasting my goddamn time and Wow, there's a lot of conversations we did not by see. The end of the month, or Sal will throw your shit out. You're yeah, there's no subtitles. You the chance. Take actions. <laughs> Gain control. I'm so There was no subtitles. It was just basically, here's the story and that's it. No options. All right. There's a lot to unpack here. There's a lot to unpack here. And yeah, subtitles would be great. I 100%, because it's a VR game, I think they kept the subtitles off because you'd have to actually focus on the subtitles. Because this is originally a VR game. Oh, the blood stain. You see the blood stain? Monday evening, and the phones have been ringing off the hook tonight. People are calling in and answering questions. Should we see her tonight? Oh, is that the uh, detective? Death was 8.30 p.m. He died at 8.30? Seemed like he got stabbed at 8.15. Tenant for 2B. Jared Mandel was found dead on arrival. Definitely a homicide. Let's see here. Oh, hello. You again. Who else would it be? So, what's the story here? Let's just say we ain't getting out of here early tonight. Welcome to homicide, Gannis. Welcome the to homicide. Stops. Hi. Talk to me. All right, the victim is ID'd as a Jared Mandel. He's a 29-year-old landlord and real estate developer with his daddy's money. He was found upstairs in his penthouse with an ornamental sword lodged in his chest. The this is a really nice right apartment. Now. So what do we have for witnesses, possible suspects? Yeah, six tenants in the building, all who were present at the victim's place just before the homicide, so I got them on lockdown in their apartments. Oof. Good. What else? Uh, we do got a Cinderella. Chrissy Roberts, she's a 22-year-old girl who flew the coup. She had a spat with the victim just oh, before, she ran? so she is an obvious suspect. Hmm, maybe you love a I told you to call the police! Skewer him like a gyro and then bolt it? <laughs> <laughs> Could be, don't be so sure. Damn it, my phone's giving me trouble. Oh, no, 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 it ain't your phone. It's this place. There's no bars. You know, I just can't put my finger on Blood it. Moon. Something doesn't seem right here. Puts a chill in my bones. Chill in your bones. It's got a Hi, I'm up here. Hello. O'Connor. Hello? Hello? Damn it. All right, Nostradamus. Let's get some answers. Go get those answers. You do that. 
Also, I'm waving up here. Do you want pizza? It's Let's not go. much. It's like half a slice. What happened to our ASMR cutie? She flew the coop? Look. Hi. I'm not some kind of creep, right? Yeah, you are. I saw you watching from your fire escape. We're both creeps from watching. The cop almost saw you. You gotta be careful. Why? So, that was me. I distracted him with a phone call. I can help you. Why would you need to help me? I could talk to the police by myself. I'm a big I'm a big girl. Only one in the goddamn building. That was me too. Are you my neighbor? Uh, anyway, look at I don't want to give you a hard time. I don't want to interrupt, you know. You gotta see these pitiful zombies for what they are. Toxic. Tonight's the night. Everybody has their own now problems. Alright, who do I want to talk to first? Do you think that girl Chrissy had anything to do with it? Although just because she whispers for a living doesn't automatically make her a creeper. God, she is kind of hot. <gasps> Ooh, she's hot. Jackie, what are you doing? What are you looking for? <gasps> Jackie, I'm trying to process this crazy, horrible night and I cannot calm down with you acting like a schizo. Just trust me. Babe, there's something I have to tell you, but I, I have to find this letter first. Oh, I know I left it here. Just tell me now. Hey, say it now. To be in this together. What the hell's going on? Oh, is it the cops? They start with you first. Detective O'Connor, open up. I've already told your partner. I have nothing to say until my lawyer's present. With all due respect, Miss Amato, your name keeps popping up. Does you it? You are entangled in Mr. Mendel's business affairs. <gasps> At the very least, you should answer some questions. Since when is it a crime to have an investment portfolio? Hmm? Dude, she has a nice now, apartment for For the New third York. and final time, I don't want you or any of your underlings to bother me. Do I make myself clear? I could answer some questions. If I can help, I'd like to. Where can we talk privately? Balcony? Hey, hey! I'm out here. I'm on a balcony. This owl is <gasps> not one of your bottle balls, Zoe. I don't do this. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. Is she looking for blood? She's looking for swords? I do want to see what they're doing. She was acting a little strange, hiding in the back while Jairus spoke. Oh God. Jackie. There's too many things to look at! Believe me, I know. But you have to believe me when I tell you that she had absolutely nothing to do with what happened to Jared tonight. She's just on edge. I'd be on edge too if I was getting ready to inherit a building with a lot of debt. The history of legal violations, a homicide, and some very angry tenants. Your neighbors. I don't know anything about Jackie's investments. I just now realized how... Never mind. You seem like a smart woman. I would think your partner would trust you more. Yeah, I would think so too. Look, she will drag you down with her. And I don't mean to scare you, but Miss Amato's case is starting to smell pretty fishy. Was she acting odd tonight, before the murder? No, not at all. Has she ever been violent with you? Of course not. Whose blood is on the floor in the living room? <gasps> There's blood in the living room? I'm sorry, Detective. I, I need you to leave. Oh, shoot. All right. But think about what I said. There's blood in the living room. Go. I'll be back. Amato. Oh god, we gotta replay this game. Gotta go back to times. What did you tell her? Nothing. I asked her to leave. She asked about you and the blood on the floor and told me about your business dealings with Jared. Oh, 
Damn it, Zoe, you didn't tell her anything. Look, you need to come upstairs with me and help me get my phone. What? You have to distract the police while I sneak into Jared's. Forget about your fucking phone, There Jared. are things shit. on that phone that I need to make sure don't fall into the wrong hands. Oh, shit. Please. Zoe, we have to do this. I can't believe this is happening. If I do if this. If we do it, we have to do it now. Oh shit. Oh, that guy's done talking to her. Crap. She looks so lost. She's just another zombie in this city. Oh, fuck you know, off, dude. Her son is on the chopping block. His case is just about protecting the justice system. <laughs> that would go to any end to avenge her bad fate. Oh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm being rude. What's your theory? Uh. She could be heartbroken. Yeah, she's cracked all right. It's a blessing for you. Excuse me. Come on, Sal. Get you wrapped around his finger doing his dirty work for him. To be honest with you, I don't even know how you can stand here and look me in the eyes. After all the lying that you've done. You better start thinking twice about this shit that's coming out of here. Oh my god, there's way too many things happening at once. That you are the prime suspect here. Was that right? Yeah. I've known you a long time, Sal, but I don't know what to think anymore. Oh. You know what, Kareem? You're a goddamn fool. Is he gonna hit her? Shit, Jared. I said we had to leave. Uh, looks like someone bought you some extra time, huh? Oh. Before, before the alarm was set off, did, did, did you notice anything or see anything out of the ordinary? I, I'm sorry, can, can you please turn that off? Uh. <sighs> Side. Okay. There's too much stuff going on at once. I think Mr. Mr. Jared fired before the party. You know, with the girl from 3C. Did she say something to you? No. She when she came out of the room, she was very quiet. I think she was scared. Did you notice anyone take anything from the apartment? No, why? Well, some things were misplaced. Oh, I don't know. Uh, the policeman from 2B, he wanted to play with the swords. What do you mean? Uh, well, he and the Chinese lady upstairs, they talked about the swords on the wall. Well, they were moved. Ay, madre mía! Someone killed Mr. Jared with the sword? Whoa, 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 why are you saying that? Oh, I don't know. If Mr. Jared is dead... This is like a, a group... I don't want any trouble. This is a group pact. They all decided to kill him at once. Palacio. Everyone was very angry with Mr. Jared. Who was? Everyone. Miss Valerie was very angry, and um, the policeman was yelling at Don Sal. Her, I don't remember anything else. I... Oh, hey, hey, oh. hey, hey, hey! Take it easy. Take it easy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Let's. Okay. Is this guy like a real police officer or is he like into like is he an actor? Oh, this is so hard. Wait, did the police officer leave? Shit. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Hey. Something's going on outside. I tell you, O'Connor, ain't no love lost in this building for Mr. Jared Mandel. Somebody Oof. snapped. That's my hunch. I think they all snapped. You're not gonna believe this. I talked to the coroner. He doesn't think that stab wound was the cause of death. Really? They all did it. A good thing I requested search warrants across the board. We don't want to miss anything. Good. Talk to Jackie Amato, the attorney. She's definitely hiding something. She's got some very suspicious financial ties to the victim. Well, you gotta admit, she does look like she'd enjoy cracking someone. Her blind spot's her girlfriend. I'm working on that. I touched base with Mrs. Uh, Valerie Morse. Yeah, she had this crow who was doing all kinds of weird things, yammering, saying, uh, nasty boy, 
Uh, I'm at my rope's end. Threatening stuff. Really? Ah, uh, I gotta re redo that threat? one. I don't know. Find out. Gotta redo the crow one. Maybe your son's case has triggered some breaking. I definitely had to nudge her. But I used my genius brain to get her to talk. <laughs> His genius I brain? I talk to her son if she cooperated. Oh my Better god. That, oh, I will. Don't worry. What about the pregnant one? Oh, that was a circus. <gasps> She thought I was what is in this room? Oh, she's got a record for petty death There's a person in there. And she knew about the soul. Interesting. It just keeps getting weirder. I think I do need to redo the APM one. Was he strong enough to take on the super? 30 years ago, he spent some time in juvie. Yes, ma'am. I got this oh, guy's they're back. Number. Luxury of choosing the easy way out. No. No more of this. You aren't in any position to call the shots anymore. <gasps> These two should have never left Rebecca. See how they're unraveling? You knew it was only a matter of time. What do you think she's looking for, huh? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I didn't get to hear Whatever the entire is, conversation. It's definitely sending her into a tailspin. Okay. Damn. I never thought I'd see a kid like that. That's funny. When did you see the body? Uh, no, no, no. I want to know what's going on here. There's definitely a person in this room. Right so, can you tell me about Christy Right there. Uh, not much, really. Um, she moved in about a year and a half ago. Nice girl. Hi. But um, she has a job on uh, the internet or something like that. What, like an escort or a call girl? What are you doing? What are you looking for? What'd you drop? Are you doing exercises? Did you hit your head? You okay? What happened? Did your crow hit you? Do I have to call animal services? <gasps> what happened? She dying? <laughs> no. Oh no, the crow died. <laughs> no. Did someone poison her crow to keep it shut? Now <laughs> shut. No, not the crow. <laughs> someone murdered the crow. Now there's two murders. Bird. Trying to make that happen. I wouldn't put it. Oh, come on. How could Jerry know how to turn off the water? The Is she leaving? The oh, she's, she's leaving. Your boss is half your age, and he's got you. Wasn't here with you. to announce that he would be evicting majority of the remaining residents. FYI, this was a direct violation of the tenant's statutory rights. Gotcha. Things became heated, but before anything could transpire, the fire alarm went off. And, you know, we were let out by the superintendent, one Salvatore Manzo, AKA Sal. Impressive. Shall we say, very by the book. Hey, if we don't do it, then who will? <laughs> you know, your insight is critical. Tell me, did you see anything else? Anything unusual? I'm thinking. You know, I have a photographic memory. Excuse me, please don't touch that. Oh, sorry. Please. Oh my god, this How guy. How long did you know the residents in the building? I think it's fair to say that I had my finger on the pulse guy. of this building. D Great. Do you? No, the only oh my creep god. was in 3A, but he's long gone. Tell me about Chrissy Roberts. Young woman, 5'5", five, five, approximately I can't tell if he's an actor or if I want to be a police blonde. officer with a scar on her neck. No, lives in apartment 3C. I think he's an actor, but I can't so tell anymore. Well, she's uppity. I tried a number of times to start a conversation with her, but... Are you, did you try Is to start a conversation, or were you trying to flirt so with her? her? Well, I wouldn't say that. Uh, she was a little too awkward for me. You know, she was always on her computer, making videos. Videos? Yeah, she was like a YouTube star. YouTube star. Looks like she wasn't the only one making videos. <laughs> Wait. Is that on? No. 
What? Drage. Gannis, I need you to check out apartment 3C. Sounds like Chrissy Roberts might be back. I'll meet you up there. Hey. Chrissy? <gasps> it's our friend! Hey you, it's me. Hi. I'm in my apartment. Is that you? From across the alley. I need your help. They're going to catch you. Whoever killed Jared probably knows everything. You can see everything. Who was it? I don't know! I don't know! Maybe it was you! Maybe it was you! I can't answer this question! Don't tell me this stuff! No, I'm gonna wait at the time. I don't know. Also, the police are gonna show up, and you are not in the most hiding. You are the worst at hiding right now. Also, Papa, Poppy, thank you so much for that resub. Drop them bears. I don't know who it is. I don't know what to do. Freeze! Put your hands up! Yeah, you were dumb right, to come back. You, back you shouldn't have run the entire time. Hey, O'Connor! O'Connor, I need some backup up here! I know who you are, Chrissy Roberts, so just don't try anything, okay? All right, now stop. Stop and put your hands behind your head. She's gonna hit him. Oh, she hit him! Where'd she go? Let me... Oh no! Get the fuck out of her room! This guy is so suspect now. Dude. Wanna be cop, actor, whatever? Oh, we have to replay this chapter. We have to replay these chapters. We need to know what happened. Oh my goodness.